The start of your music production journey is always exciting. You boot up FL for the first time with an open canvas. A whole new world of possibilities at your fingertips just waiting for you to... Well, you're probably going to get this shitty default song at the start, but you can just close that shit and open up a new project and we're back. Endless possibilities at your fingertips just waiting for you to dive in. And then you start going down the YouTube rabbit hole. Simon Savita, Cody, Busyworks, In The Mix, you name it. You start picking up on all these little techniques and shortcuts that these producers use and eventually you discover your own style of cooking up. This is where the fun starts. When you get into the groove of making beats on your own without having to go back to YouTube to try and figure something out, it gets really rewarding. And that shit's addictive. But there's a reason for that. This is a visual representation of a producer's learning curve. The rate of progression in this increases rapidly at the beginning phase and then decreases over time. And this applies to any new skill you pick up. At the start of your journey, you're like a sponge when it comes to info. But that can also be a bad thing. When you start picking up bad habits in your cook-up style, you tend to just stick with them your whole life. If it ain't broke, then fix it, you know? Basic examples examples like holding down right click and scrolling to cycle through your tools instead of just clicking on them is something so small but in two years imagine all the time you wasted reaching for that blade tool instead of just doing the shortcut it sounds dumb but that shit adds up one bad habit turns into two and then two to four and the next thing you know your whole way of cooking up is completely upside down and you don't know how to break these habits but luckily the same thing goes for good habits so if you call yourself out sooner than later your life's just going to be a lot easier in the future with that being said i feel like the learning curve can also easily be replaced with a creativity curve. When you start off making beats, you go into it with the most open mind ever. You have no clue what's right, what's wrong. You have zero knowledge and experience in this field. And there's kind of a beauty in that. I went from making shitty EDM music at the start of the pandemic to making Oliver Tree type beats and trying to stay in this indie rock lane to like no life and rage beats when he popped. And now I just mainly make rap music. And all this style hopping happened in the first nine months of me producing. Imagine how it's going to be for you. Before we continue, I just want to give a big shout out to DistroKid for sponsoring this video. Nowadays, getting your song to an industry level on a budget is almost impossible. That's where Mixia by DistroKid comes in. With Mixia, DistroKid members can put their finishing touches on their tracks in minutes. It's got a really simple interface so even beginners can use it. You've got unlimited song previews while you're tweaking your song up and you've got one free download with that. And for $99 a year, you've got access to an unlimited amount of tracks. The best part of Mixia is that you've got full control of your song after the software does its tweaks so you can change up the volume and the EQ if you want to and it's as easy as uploading your file, letting the software do the work, tweaking it up a bit and then downloading your track. And from there you can head on straight to DistroKit and upload your master track to all distribution platforms. And if you use the link in the bio you get 7% off your entire year. Big shout out again to DistroKit for sponsoring this video. The point I'm trying to make is don't take those early days of producing for granted. That shit is the most fun you'll have with producing. But it's like most things in life. Remember that feeling of pure joy when you drop Tilted Towers for the first time with the boys? Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck's happening in that game anymore for like the past three years now. Because 12 year olds were just like clipping on me constantly. But that's just how it works. You discover something new. You get excited to learn about it. You start to think you know more about the subject than most people. Then you get humbled. And then after that you grow. It's a vicious and extremely annoying cycle cycle but it has to be done and before you know it you're getting beat block every month you're rushing your beats every day to keep your dying type beat channel afloat and because it's a type beat channel you need to stick to a specific artist and make the same beat over and over again and suddenly your music dream turns into a nine to five so how do you fix this I'm not saying don't treat music as a job because at the end of the day, that is what it is, you know, we all need to pay rent somehow. But just try and keep those first years of producing in mind. The time you didn't have any resources to work with and the possibilities were endless. The time you had zero judgment on your own work. The time you just made music to have fun. Boop.